Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 344 of the 365 day trivia road trip. Today's quiz comes from Chandler, Arizona. Sabrina Cicero and her dad Richard actually have already submitted two quizzes, but they had so much fun doing it that they've sent us a third quiz. This one has some holiday questions mixed in with some general knowledge. So let's get started with question number one. What is the name of the popular cowboy singer who starred in several films and had his own TV show in the 1950s who performed these classic Christmas songs? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Up on the Rooftop, Here Comes Santa Claus, and Frosty the Snowman. The answer is Gene Autry. Question number two, the Stanley Cup is awarded to the team that wins the playoff championships in the NHL. It was named after Lord Stanley of Preston, Governor General of Canada. What was the first name given to this championship trophy in 1892 before they changed it to the Stanley Cup? Before the Stanley Cup was the Stanley Cup, it was the Dominion Hockey Challenge Cup. Question number three, Steve Martin and Martin Short have been working together for around 36 years, including in Hulu's series, Only Murders in the Building, with Selena Gomez, where they team up to solve murders in the building that they all live in. What 1986 film did this comedy duo first star together in? I just rewatched this the other day. I love this movie. Three Amigos. <coughs> Classic movie. Question number four. Macaulay Culkin rose to stardom in the 1990 movie Home Alone, where he played Kevin McAllister, who makes a plan to stop two burglars from robbing his house. To film the movie, the interior of Kevin's on-screen house was built inside what type of building? I actually saw this on that Netflix show, The Movies We All Love. They built it in a high school, an old abandoned high school. Question number five. This author that passed away on May 23rd, 2021, has a museum in Amherst, Massachusetts featuring his works, which include The Very Hungry Caterpillar, The Busy Spider, and Brown Bear, Brown Bear. What is this author's name? The answer is Eric Carl. Question number six. Zippy the Pinhead by Bill Griffith was a comic strip that featured characters called the Muffler Men. Route 66 has statues of these characters. The first Muffler Man made on Route 66 was made to promote the Lumberjack Cafe. What city and state can you still find this Muffler Man? It's on Route 66. The answer is Flagstaff, Arizona. Question number seven. Castaway, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, and The Polar Express were all produced by Tom Hanks' production company that was named after the fictional record company from his movie That Thing You Do, where Tom plays the manager to a 1960s boy band. What is the name of this company? called Playtone. Question number eight. This 1960s TV show about a fictional boy band that became a real life band with hit songs like I'm a Believer gained a new generation of fans when MTV aired their reruns in the 1980s. What is the name of this TV show which is also the name of the band?
The answer is the monkeys. Question number nine, Alfonso Ribeiro, who co-hosts Dancing with the Stars, played Carlton Banks in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and also played in the 80s TV sitcom Silver Spoons. But his first acting debut was dancing with Michael Jackson in a commercial for what product? The answer is Pepsi. Question number 10, Lorne Green starred in the Western Bonanza as Ben Cartwright, a widowed father to three sons. The show focused on the Cartwright family and their ranch called the Ponderosa. In 1960, Lorne built a replica of the ranch and called it the Ponderosa II. Where is this historic private home located? This quiz definitely has an Arizona lean to it. This one is Mesa, Arizona. Question number 11. Nickelodeon aired in 1976, becoming the first all-kids TV channel. The first show to air on Nickelodeon was created by Vivian Horner, aimed at preschoolers, featuring live humans and puppets together. What was the name of this show? Wonder where they got that idea. Not as popular as Sesame Street, it was called Pinwheel. Question number 12, Nickelodeon also picked up a show from Canada called You Can't Do That on Television. In the show, if the person said, I don't know, they would pour green slime over their heads. That famous Nickelodeon slime was made of food coloring, oatmeal, applesauce, and what fourth ingredient? That main ingredient was vanilla pudding. Question number 13, Shell Dorf, Richard Alf, Ken Kruger, Mike Towery, Ron Graff, Barry Alfenso, Bob Sork, and Greg Bear decided to start a convention, originally called the Golden State Comic Book Convention in 1970. In what city is this convention, the biggest and most popular Comic-Con, still going strong today? Now they just call it the Comic-Con, and the biggest one is in San Diego. Question 14. In 1981, Elena Kucherik created the Care Bears that developed into their own movies, TV shows, clothing line, and toys. These characters are still a huge franchise today. But for what medium did Elena originally create the Care Bears for? Originally, she made them for greeting cards, which makes sense why you would have Care Bears. Greeting cards is the answer. Question 15, Lonnie Johnson was a NASA rocket scientist who was trying to invent a new kind of heat pump that had complications. In 1982, Lonnie took ideas from this invention and created what toy that he sold under the name Johnson Research and Development Co. If it doesn't work as a heat pump, it'll work as a water gun. The answer is Super Soaker. Question number 16. Sarah Josepha Hale wrote the poem, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and based it on a real 11-year-old girl named Mary Sawyer, who had a pet lamb that followed her to school one day. What state was the real Mary born and raised in? The answer is not Arizona, it's Massachusetts. Question number 17. In the 1960s, Wynn Roberts took a picture of a Los Angeles Lakers guard. 
This basketball player's picture was turned into a silhouette that became the official NBA logo. What is the name of this Los Angeles Laker whose silhouette is still the official NBA logo? The answer is Jerry West. Question number 18. In the 1870s, this American novelist traveled to the Wild West during 1861 to 67 with his brother, Orion Clemens, who was the secretary of the Nevada Territory and wrote about their journey in his novel, Roughing It. Who was this American writer? The answer is Mark Twain. His brother was Orion Clemens. His name is Sam Clemens. Question number 19. In 18th century England, people would carry around this kind of fruit or have it as a centerpiece at dinner parties to show personal wealth and high class status because of its expense of import. What is this fruit that today is a symbol of hospitality towards guests? The answer is a pineapple. And question 20. On Sesame Street, Cookie Monster can't resist devouring a plate of cookies, especially chocolate chip cookies. But the on-set cookies are not real because the oil in the cookies could damage the puppet. What much less tasty food do they paint to look like cookies to give that perfect crumble effect? I was not aware that my entire childhood was a lie. They were actually rice cakes that the Cookie Monster was eating. Rice cakes is the answer and ruins my childhood. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trivia. And as a special treat, we have two tiebreaker questions today. The first one. Chandler, Arizona has been putting up a tumbleweed Christmas tree each December that consists of around a thousand tumbleweeds around a chicken wire frame to make a full tree shape. It is then coated with flame resistant white spray and doused with 65 pounds of glitter and strung with Christmas lights. What year did this tradition start? By the way, that is the author of today's quiz right there with her road trivia swag right in front of the tumbleweed Christmas tree. Awesome. This tradition started in the year 1957. Whichever player got closest to 1957 is going to win that point. And if that doesn't break the tie, then let's just do one more. Question 22 tiebreaker. Disney Plus's The Santa Claus's series stars Tim Allen as Santa based off of the three Santa Claus movies where his character Scott Calvin accidentally killed the real Santa and had to step into the red suit. What year did the first Santa Claus movie come out to theaters? If you're not from Arizona, this one might be a little bit easier for you. That first Santa Claus movie starring Tim Allen came out in 1994. So whichever player got that one correct wins the point. Man, I hope you guys, if you're playing one on one, I hope one of you didn't get one tiebreaker and another one of you got the other tiebreaker because then there's no tiebreaker and we're still tied and you'll have to come back tomorrow on day 345 to break the tie. See you then.